the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. The reason, and you, you talk, we talked about like two weeks ago, the reason we don't say, show me Jesus. When somebody asks you, show me Jesus, and the uncomfortable feeling is that if I show you Jesus, and I show, and then you see me, you realize that I am not an ambassador. I am not reflecting. You know what I mean? Because that's what people see. They see what's in the home. Right? Yeah. They, 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 they're saying, I don't, I don't know what you're telling me. You're telling me about the Bible. You're telling me about that, but I see you. I see you lying. I see you cursing. I see you cheating. And people, listen, God, everybody, listen. People see what you do. Jesus even said, if you don't believe me, believe my works. What works are you doing in the home? What works are you doing at the job? What people see, if they see you, you know, your, 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 your bigotry, they see your, your anger, they see you you're lying and cheating and cursing, when do you become an ambassador then if you do you see what i'm saying those things contrary to what you're saying in, in the church or going to the church for that's what's happening yeah. that's what people sit and say it's like you're confusing me how many times you go to school look look how many times do they want you to take the work home wow take the work home and i want you to do your home work why because it's reinforced at the home and even even your well, it's more so than than that message that you're taking home Woo! it's that relationship uh -huh. Uh -huh. you take that home to develop a relationship Woo! that that pastor has to have a relationship with god uh -huh. to get a revelation to share with those people to perfect them to do the work in the ministry yeah but yeah. if you never take that and develop your own relationship, then your relationship is not with God, it's with that pastor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and so then it becomes no different woo. than what Satan did. So you have a human, yeah. which was, which in, in the same place, as Lucifer yeah. receiving praise, glory, honor that is due to God, but accepting it as it is his. Yeah. And then try to exalt himself above God and now in the position that he's in. Yeah. And so the same thing is happening to the church Woo. here on earth because the people are falling apart. The real church. Yeah. The real church is really not becoming a part of the body of Christ. They're becoming a part of the body of a local church. Yes. And then, which is a part of the body of an individual who is a pastor, preacher, teacher, yeah. evangelist, apostle, you know. And so even uh, Paul was talking about, you know, how he thanked God that he didn't baptize many folks I did. so that they wouldn't be, you know, using him oh, as, Paul. you know, giving oh, him Paul. praise, yeah. yeah, yeah, and lifting him up, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's more so focus on God, yeah. give God the praise for the information that he's given me to give to you. Yeah. And you develop that relationship. If it if it if it's God giving you that information, I'm just best be used by it. Oh. And so um Yeah, you you hit it because that's like the whole the whole focus should be on the relate it's really the big picture is the relationship back to God. I mean what what's the purpose of the connection? Right? 
Well, you, to be born again is to be connected again to yeah. be, to have a relationship with him. Yeah. <laughs> you you just you tap back into the source, and 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 and, and that is a full time. That's that's our worship is just like just back back of sports again. That coach practice. And then he sends you home. He wants you to sit there. Sometimes I think like in an off season, they want you to jump, do track or something else. I want you to, you know, I want to keep you conditioned, right? So that when you come, when you come, <laughs> when you come back, you ready to do it all over again. Because mm -hmm. when you go on that gridiron, when you, I mean, it's game over. Practice over with. Game is on. And you have a bona fide opposition who has done the same thing that you did. Yeah. Okay, right? They they conditioned themselves. They practice what they're supposed to do. They practice their techniques. How often? Maybe, Hold on. Oh yeah. I'm saying is that one of the things I guess we want to do is start encouraging people, take it home practice what was it practice what you preach practice what you preach practice what and you it's 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 to me pra practice is is it's it's not an inappropriate word uh I, I think it's more than that i think it's uh if if you meditating i don't think it's practicing Meditate. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, prayer is is a conversation with yeah. God, right. and and I think that that it's it's gotten to the point to where prayer is just a a, a one sided request line. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and so uh, most prayers are 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 said, and and then it's there's no feedback there, there's no patience to sit and wait on feedback or to 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 look at the scriptures and with faith that the holy spirit is going to give you a revelation on it to reveal the spiritual yeah. content behind that scripture so there is more to it and and and, and you can practice to memorize the scriptures Yes. But I think it's more so a conversation with God and allowing the Holy Spirit to connect you to a whole nother level to where you're receiving information directly from God and from Jesus Christ right. because it's there and it happens. And, and the wow factor is just blows my mind to how I can still read the scriptures. And the Holy Spirit just shows me so much, even during, even when we're we're in this Bible study. So uh, I, I go in with an expectation mm -hmm. of the Holy Spirit sharing mm -hmm. intimate details about what is trying to be put into my spirit. Exactly. And when I pray, I pray with confidence that god hears me and that i'm going to get a response in that yeah. and i can listen yeah and wait yeah. but it doesn't mean that that prayer ended at that time i say in jesus name amen yeah. you know what i'm saying exactly. those, those, those 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 are you know they're they're, they're called prayers of petition Yes, sir. You know, that that's that's still you you're asking God for something. So my my most of my time is is more of a a worship because I'm thanking God for what he's doing for me. Yes, sir. And and thanking God that he has done this and that I expect Expect this to come into my life because his word says that and so it's giving him praise and, and glory and honor for the things that he's revealed to me 
And so the requests are so far and in between for me, other than, you know, uh, I'm just, I need some help with dealing with this. Mm-hmm. Help, help me to, re, to be reminded of your word in this instant. Or when these, these things come, or when I'm dealing with this person, perfect me so that this is the, the, the life that I'm living, that I bear fruit. Yes, yeah, yeah. That you would have me to bear, not that I, not from my fleshly point of view. So there is a, a way of going about this that's more than, than just a, a practice. Um, I quit reading the scriptures to memorize them because the Holy Spirit always just brings it to me anyway. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So, and and it's not in uh, scripture form. Yeah, it's I, in information form. You know, the Holy Spirit don't say in in First John such and such and such. Exactly. You know, says this. The Holy Spirit just says this. Yes. Yeah, and I like what I mean. This was talking before about the fact is making the word real to you. And when we talk about prayer, is the fact that you know when we pray corporately, you see it like in congregations, so forth. That's what yeah. they see, right? Yeah, that's a corporate see, prayer. Yeah, they don't see the what they don't see is the interaction of what God is saying to each individual there. Yeah, and people need to understand that even like even in a study like this, there's things coming through your spirit. Mm-hmm. Of God talking and giving revelation to you. Yeah. We need to understand people to get people saying, God is, when you're praying, He's talking to you. When you're yes. driving your car, He's talking to you. Yes. And, and we need to understand that He ain't the only one talking to you. <laughs> Amen. You see what I'm saying? Amen. We need to get to the point being able, that's what the whole purpose of the word is to be able to confront anything that doesn't line up with, yeah. his, with the word of God. And, and that's it. And the more you, you spend time with God, the more you know who's speaking to you. Yes. I mean, you know, I think about it. You know, Cain, why has that continent fallen? You know, he, he's talking to him, yeah. right? Now, see, we're thinking, see, and we need to understand, obviously God is not, it's not a, it's probably not even an audible from the, the what we call audible you know what i mean yeah. in other words like abel couldn't have walked up and heard god say okay well, why is your continent falling he, that was a conversation that was only directed toward Cain. Yeah. yeah you see what i'm saying so is- that, that, yeah uh 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 adam didn't hear that no <laughs> adam didn't no. hear that conversation no eve didn't hear that conversation no you see what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Because he would have said. As a matter of fact, when, when God talk, talked to Adam, you think Eve heard that? Come on. <laughs> no, she did. She she was told that, wasn't she? Yeah. Yeah. yeah she was told what God said. You know? Because yeah. she added something to it, didn't she? Why is it? And he, then when, I, when, when, when Adam said, I don't even know if Eve heard that conversation except for when God said <laughs> what he said to her. And what are you gay? They probably did. Yeah, you know, she 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 may have only heard, you know, uh in child labor. Uh-huh. You know, you should you it should be painful for. Her. Uh-huh. Yeah, she heard you her know. Right. Right. But I'm not I'm not saying that she didn't hear that whole conversation, but I'm just saying you we have to look at it in this in aspect. Spiritual, in a spiritual well, sense. Right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We keep thinking, you see what I'm saying? The cardinal mind it is we're putting the physical senses elements into it instead of the spiritual elements to it the yeah. eyes were open and they were naked yeah we know good and well physically cardinally the eyes were open yeah. what was open their spiritual eyes now yeah. have opened more things that they were not ready for they were subject to a third party yes when it wasn't there before 
Yes. And it came to instructions. Yes. Now, he taught, Adam taught to all the animals. Yes. You know, I mean, he, I mean, God had them all come before. Yeah. You know, I'm pretty sure that they're, they're, those animals spoke and, and maybe their animal sounds or whatever, but there was an interaction with them all. You gave it a serpent, which was more subtle than all the rest. Right. You yeah. know, uh, came. Could have, it could have been a Neanderthal. You know, who knows? Who knows? But what we know is that there was a spiritual component to it. Because what happened is a spiritual reaction toward it. Yeah, was it a, was possessed. Yeah. That, 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 that serpent was possessed and allowed itself to be. Yes. You know, it went against its nature. No different than that tree that Jesus went to to get fruit. Right. And it didn't produce it. It, it was subject yes. to an alternate, you know, uh, source. Yep, and yep. it got cursed. No different than that serpent got cursed. Yes, sir. You know? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. And the fact that, look at it. And he said he, all the days of our life need dust. He's really talking about the fact that what was man made of? Out of dust. The cardinal yeah. piece. Not the yeah. piece that was in what's called poured into him. It's, yeah. It wasn't it wasn't the, the spiritual part. Yeah. It was the carnal part that yeah. this this serpent was gonna have control of. You see my point? So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, and nobody looks at that. that. That is a revelation right there. Yeah, yeah. That people don't get in that in that that conversation that God had with that serpent. Mm -hmm. When He spoke to that serpent, He spoke to him in a spiritual aspect yeah. about what's going to happen to him, yeah. and then it happened. Yeah. And even the prophecy was there, right? About you bruising your yeah. head. He's gonna bruise you. You know, your son, your child, your seed will bruise, will bruise his heel, but he's gonna bruise your head. Yeah. And he's gonna he's gonna take you out. All that was all that was dip, bit, metaphorically speaking of what was gonna happen for Shout and Jesus. You know, yeah. we didn't even know my fact, you know that? I don't know about you, but when the first time somebody even brought that to my attention. That there was a prophecy being made right then yeah. about her seed. You know, yeah. you're like, women, her seed, we, it, it went right by you at first because, it's like, you know, yeah, her seed. And then somebody said, she don't have, she doesn't have a seed. You're like, oh, oh, she doesn't have it. No, she didn't say, he just, he just said, he didn't say Adam seed, did it? No, he said, yeah. her seed. See, which was his seed. You see what I'm saying? In other words, there's so much, it's more layers written throughout the scriptures. I mean, and, that, and it takes, it takes the Holy Spirit to bring that truth about. You can't just read these scriptures <laughs> and know. get the fullness therein. Not from a I mean, the, the, the Bible even says it is written so that it, it just dumbfounds the smartest of the man in this world. Yeah, they can't get what we get. You can have an unlearned person, yeah, get this word and receive revelation that is just beyond measure. Come on, that you can have a genius read, and all he sees is a story. Oh man, you, oh look, look, you, you just caught me on something. I was just sitting there thinking, you remember when the, the Sadducees looked at the disciples after Jesus left? And he yes. Looked, they, 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 they said these are un unlearned. unlearned people. What what do you mean? Unlearned in the way that they've been teaching people. Yeah. These, these, these people, we didn't teach none of this to them. They, they didn't go to the, 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 the uh, different... Uh, Scholar programs that we went through, <laughs> yeah. you know, but they're, they're not on our level. How are they talking to us? Come on, you know, about these things. Come on, they said, Look, they've been with Jesus, you see what I'm saying? And, and, and I guess 
if not as a takeaway for this segment of it, I'm gonna break these things down. It's uh <laughs> but as in is this the we need to encourage people, and I guess like I said, practice is not the best word, is to live what you are learned. Live it. Take that home. You can't, it's, you know, we're talking about certain actors. We talk about Christians as being actors sometimes, right? They, they, in other words, they come to the sanctuary. They come to the forum and they're all- the stage. The, the curtains are open <laughs> and they get on stage and they perform. Yeah. They perform dur during that service. That <laughs> exactly, exactly. And not take that home. You know, to, to even go over, I mean, yeah, I like what, at least when I was getting into word ministry and, 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 and the Prince of Darwin them, they want you to take those notes so you can take them home and, and go over the notes. Yeah. You know, and when we want to start pre pastors and ministers and saints and, well, just saying, take whatever form you, you, you go to and, and go over those things in your home. That's why I think he was trying to say the head of the home, head of the man, is to say, look, let's let's encourage. That's what I'm just saying. The teaching. There's a church every day in the home. Is it not? You know what I mean? I mean, I'm just saying that's where it's that's where it's supposed to be. How's it are we teaching our children? And it's not, it's not a bad reflection. I'm just saying, is, are we really trying to pass it on? Some revelation. We do pretty good about talking about life, don't we? Yeah. Oh, oh, look, oh, look. We do real good about teaching somebody how to drive. We do real good teaching somebody how to ride a bicycle. Yeah. Come on, bro. Hey, we do real good teaching them how to swim. Yeah. But how good are we teaching or did we delegate that to the pastor? Yeah. And 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 look, this hits home with me. You know, that this this is something that I have to work on, you know, because I'm quick to minister these scriptures to, to anybody. Anybody that will hear it. Yeah. But my son who's sitting right here with me in the house. Yeah. You know, he very seldom right. gets scripture. Now, when I'm with him one-on-one, -on -one, you know, especially when we're driving somewhere, yes, oh, he's getting it. You know, he's going to get it. Right. And he's going to learn some things. And I'm going to give him some, some, some knowledge about this spiritual life that we're living. And, uh, but to just always just bombarding with it, uh, you know, I I can't, I, 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 you have to be equally yoked because I don't want him just tuning me out. Exactly. <laughs> I'm talking to him. So, should we, should we do it? In, in, in the sense, we're not saying is, should it, is it passed on in the same forum that we see in a church setting? Or should it? It's completely on? different. It should be different. Matter of fact, it's, 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 it's applied. What do you call it? What do you call it? Apple, application. It's, application. it's it's by my lifestyle he, he exactly. should be it's no different than what what i started out saying earlier it's the time spent yes in that family you tend to mimic and take on characteristics characteristics of the parent just like when i spend time with god and jesus christ 